In this video, I'll show you how to connect your Epson EcoTank uh, printer to your iPad device. This works with many different uh, EcoTank printers. This one is the ET2800, but as long as it's looking like this one with a screen, it will work the same exact way. So let's get started. On your iPad, you need to go on the App Store and download the Epson Smart panel app. It should look like this one over here. I'm showing you this because you should not download the Epson iPrint. This is the old app and it does not work with newer printers. So go ahead, click on Epson Smart Panel and, um, and download the app. While this is uh, going on, let me show you what you need to do on the printer. So I'll show you how to connect the printer directly to your iPad. This way you do not need any Wi-Fi network at all. How to do this? Very easy. On this screen, make sure that it's turned on, press the home button if not, and then you need to navigate until you see something that says Wi-Fi setup. If you do not see it on the screen, just go into the settings, it's the same thing. And then from here, navigate until you see, whoops. And then from here, you're gonna navigate until you see network settings. Press okay. Press the right side arrow until you see Wi-Fi setup. Press again, OK. And here we have Wi-Fi recommended and Wi-Fi direct. We'll use the Wi-Fi direct. But by the way, if you want, you can also connect via a Wi-Fi network. So if you have a Wi-Fi router in your house or office and you want to connect the printer to that router and your iPad to that Wi-Fi network and work this way, you can also do it. To do this, I have some tutorials that you can search on my channel showing you how to connect a smartphone and it works the same exact way. But today, we're gonna try Wi-Fi Direct. Press OK. Press OK once more. Again, OK. Once you're on this screen, you're gonna press the left side arrow like this. And here we have uh, some options, iOS or other OS devices. Obviously, our iPad is iOS, so we need to select iOS. Press OK, and it will give us a QR code. Take your iPad and open the camera app. You may not use it often. It looks like this, tap on it. And once the camera app is open, try to position it so that the QR code is showing on the screen. And you should get on the right side over here a small yellow icon. Okay, so what we need to do now is to press this yellow icon once. And it will give us this um, window appearing telling us to join the network of the printer. Press join. Okay, perfect. We can exit this camera app once this is done because we have join the network. You can get a confirmation over here. You should also get on your printer screen a small confirmation telling you that a smart device is connected to the printer. So press OK. We can exit this menu. We don't need it just by pressing the home button. So on the iPad, once the app is downloaded, you can go ahead and launch it. Then on this screen, you need to tap on agree on the lower right side. Press OK. Then press next, then press next. Press allow. On this screen, you should finally see your Epson EcoTank printer and it should connect automatically. You know it's connected when you get this blue check mark over here, then you're going to press OK. And here it will give us the choice of how do we want the app to look. I know it's a bit weird. <laughs> it shows you that you can use this app by having some cards on the bottom of the screen and you can flip them like this to go to the different settings or you can have everything layout on the screen with some tiles. I find this to be much more easier to use because everything is showed to you while here the options you're not using are hidden. So I'll choose this one and to do this simply select use tiles. Press OK if you get this message, that's not important. And over here, we're gonna have your Epson printer on the top. You can click on it to get the ink levels. And from here, you can have a few different options. Head cleaning, nozzle check, firmware update, advanced settings, and other stuff. But if you want to print a document or to scan, 
everything is done from the main menu over here. So let's say I want to print, press print, select if it's a picture or a document that you want to print, then it will redirect you uh, to the internal memory of your iPad or you can also connect a USB thumb drive if you have something to print from there. And then it's very easy. You just have to find the document you want to print, tap on it, change some settings if something is to change and press print. It's very, very easy to navigate and to get things done. The same thing with the scan, just put the paper over there, press scan, select your different settings and press over here, start. Everything, I think it's very easy to understand and really well laid out for you. So thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. If so, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.